So now that we have gone over circuit diagrams and what they represent, in this video we will go over some terminology regarding open, closed, and short circuits. So an open circuit means that there is a break in the circuit somewhere or there is no closed path for current to flow. So for example, using our basic circuit with a resistor and a battery, that could mean that there is a wire disconnected somewhere and I don't have the complete closed circuit for current to flow from the battery through the resistor. Now you need a closed circuit, which we'll talk about next, for current to flow. So in this case, the current through the resistor is just going to be zero. And again, thinking about what a circuit diagram physically represents, this would be like a scenario where you have your circuit with your battery and your resistor, and one of your wires is just missing or loose. So here's my resistor, and say this wire broke or I failed to connect that wire to one end of the battery. No current can flow. I need connections to both positive and negative, so the current in this case is going to be zero. In order to have current, I need a closed circuit where I have all of my connections to both positive and negative. Oops. So this is what we showed in the previous video. We have a battery, we have a resistor, and we can have current flow from the battery through the resistor and back to the battery. Whoops, I accidentally drew that one in green, but we will keep it. So you might think, okay, well, you would never want an open circuit. You're always going to want a closed circuit. I find that in physics classes, this is usually true. You usually only analyze problems with closed circuits. But when we start talking about switches, then there are cases where you are going to want an open circuit, for example, to toggle a circuit on and off or get certain behaviors. So it's not that open circuits are always a bad thing. You just want to make sure you have something to control so you know whether your circuit is open or closed. What you do generally want to avoid is a short circuit. This is when you have some unintentional connection between two points in your circuit, creating a direct path for current to flow that you do not want. In this case, for example, that would be some extra wire here connecting the positive terminal of the battery directly to the negative terminal. That shorts out the resistor, so rather than having any current flow through the resistor, this current is going to be zero, and you are going to get extremely high or near infinite current flowing through that short circuit. Again, this is bad because when, as we will learn in future videos, current flows through things, they heat up, they dissipate power, they get very hot, this can melt things or burn you. So again, short circuits are usually bad, you don't want to have those. Open circuits and closed circuits you may want to control with something like a switch, which we will talk about in a future video. You might also be wondering, hey, you've been talking a lot about current, and in an earlier video we talked about the units for voltage and resistance. Well, great, how do I know what the current is if I have a circuit like that? We will talk about that in the next video where we finally introduce Ohm's Law.